Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what team I think Eddie Betts should go to. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off first by saying Eddie Betts is contracted until 2020. So just keep that in mind that he is still contracted with the Adelaide Football Club for next year. So yeah, that's just what we pretty much got to talk about first. That yeah, he is contracted and that he cannot leave to join a different team in 2019 unless he were to be traded. But there are a lot of rumors that, you know, that Eddie Betts pretty much is actually being a lot of getting a lot of attention from Carlton and Gold Coast and it is getting higher and higher. We all know that Gold Coast have had continuously struggles since they pretty much been introduced into the AFL and haven't been able to find that, you know, one older veteran type of player to really help out the young kids, similar to like, you know, a Luke Hodge type of player. They really haven't ever found a type of player like that and I think Eddie Betts would be absolutely perfect. Now obviously Eddie Betts is pretty much still in Adelaide's best 22. I mean he has been dropped and there are a lot of people saying that yeah he kicks a couple goals a game but he doesn't really do much other than that. Really it's up to whatever your personal opinion is and I think that if Adelaide, Adelaide probably do realize this right now and to be honest if, if Eddie was to continue down this trend and Adelaide have already dropped him once this year Think about it, it could potentially get worse and Eddie Betts could be dropped a bunch of times in um, 2020. So, the case of do you trade him now to a team like Gold Coast or Carlton? In my opinion, I think that Eddie Betts should be looking at that idea and should be very much considering it because think about it, he's pretty much only guaranteed one more year with Adelaide in my opinion. I don't even think he's going to play all 22 games in that year. He might be, you know, playing like 12 to 16 who really knows how it is going to work out? No one really knows. But then, you could pretty much say, would you rather play one more year with Adelaide where you play about 12 more games or so, or you can go over to Gold Coast, you're guaranteed two years there, pretty much getting a game every single week, and potentially a coaching job at the end of, you know, at the end of your career when you retire. That's really, you know, what Gold Coast should be thinking of doing. And they desperately need someone. Like, I mean, first of all, it was Jared Ruffhead. Then I think Jared Ruffhead, I think he's pretty much past it. He needs to, you know, retire. And I don't think he can really fit into an AFL team's best 22 anymore. Then there's Sean Burgoyne, who I don't really know. I feel like he's going to retire with Hawthorne. But who really knows? There is a chance that he potentially crosses over to Gold Coast as well. And then there's obviously Eddie Betts, whose career is looking in, you know... De definitely a really interesting state, especially with Adelaide right now. But let's move on to the Colton idea right now. And the Colton idea is that they were going to bring Eddie Betts to Colton because there's a lack in Colton's forward line of small forwards, as we all know. And then Eddie Betts will be able to play one year or so, pretty much getting 22 games in that year. And then I would say he probably will play another year after that if everything went well, but maybe not getting all 22 games. Who really knows? But in my opinion... I think Gold Coast should go all out and try and get Eddie Betts, and I don't think they're going to have to really give up much because I don't think Adelaide are going to be, you know, trying too hard to keep Eddie Betts at their club. I mean, he's going to be 33 at the end of the year, and if Gold Coast, you know, offered Adelaide, you know, a couple of fourth-round picks, maybe like one fourth-round pick or something like that, I would probably take that if I was Adelaide because really... I don't know how much Eddie Betts is going to play um, in his, you know, in 2020 and how much, you know, Adelaide are really obviously going to play him, as I just said then. And really, if it's worth it to bring him back, or well, then you could let Eddie Betts go to a team that desperately needs him and he can play there for two or so years and then can potentially join them, um, you know, as the coaching coaching role somewhere along the line. So I think that is what Eddie Betts should definitely be doing. But Eddie Betts has stated recently that, he would like to stay at Adelaide and that he does think he will be at Adelaide in um, 2020. Whether that's the best decision for his career, I'm not too sure. I feel like just going to Gold Coast, I don't know. I don't think he's really going to win that much more at Adelaide just due to the fact that they're probably not going to play him that much next year, I wouldn't think. But who really knows? Obviously, everything can potentially change. And as I said, Gold Coast there pretty much guaranteeing him one year of 22 games. In the second year, he will most likely play all 22 games as well. And if Eddie Betts was smart with it, he's got friends in the AFL you know, industry. He could bring a bunch of players over to Gold Coast as well. If there's a couple of players in Adelaide who are potentially not getting a game every single week and you know would like some more opportunities at a different club, 
Eddie could potentially, you know, persuade them to come along to Gold Coast with him, so then he wouldn't be alone. He could potentially, I'm pretty sure he's friends with Sean Bo um, Burgoyne, if I remember right. He could potentially uh, talk to Sean Burgoyne about going to Gold Coast with him. That could be a massive thing. And yeah, I just think Gold Coast should be offering these guys at least one-year contracts with pretty much a coaching role promised to them at the end of their career at the club. So that's just what I potentially think Gold Coast should do. And yeah, I think it's either going to be Adelaide or Gold Coast. I can't see why he would go back to Carlton. I mean, there's no point, really. I don't. I couldn't see a point why he'd go back to Carlton. I mean, he'll be 34, and Carlton obviously want to contend in the next year or two, and are getting out of that development phase, and I don't think they really need any more old play, you know, older players to help out with the development phase anymore, unlike what Gold Coast obviously needs. So, yeah, in my opinion, I definitely think that Eddie Betts should go to Gold Coast, or, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he also stayed at Adelaide. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What team do you guys think Eddie Betts should request a trade to, or do you, what team do you think Adelaide should trade him to? I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlogging channel. Link in the description down below. So make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.